Hi, I'm RosePels1984. Welcome to my Liquor Store Binder video tutorial series. This video is the first in an ongoing new series of tutorials covering individual modes of the program and how you can best use them in the crafting of your stories. For this respective video series, I covered the chapter mode of the program. I used to have a comprehensive tutorial covering every menu and special feature of the chapter mode of the program in previous tutorials I uploaded on YouTube. But I realized the more that I went into it that it may be a bit much for someone new to the program to take in. And even more advanced users who peruse these videos may want to see more than just where certain options are. So I'm having to find the medium between explaining these particular concepts. I wanted to simplify it for the most pertinent aspects of what people will use the program for, as well as give users an idea of what they could do with it in their own practices. Each of the respective tutorials that I'm about to offer you in this video series will be brief and cover basic facets of what you can use um, within the program in these modes. Let's assume that you want to get right down to work on writing your story, no planning involved, just flying by the seat of your pants, like a discovery writer would. I mentioned in previous tutorials that Liquid Story Binder XC is suited for both discovery writers as well as planners, but for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to start working with a chapter and some of the pertinent features that come along with it. Liquid Story Binder XC has a unique word processing feature within the chapter mode of the program, plus a few more bells and whistles. I'll start by highlighting the icons on the sidebar and going through what they individually mean. I'll continue with noting the bottom bar on the window called the Chapter Status Bar and show you how to customize it. You'll notice like many word processing programs, chapter mode has a space in which you can write in and you can per use the menu bar to format your text at your leisure. So then what are the icons on the left? The first one should be familiar. It's the icon for the save function of the chapter mode. You can simply save your work just by clicking on the button. Or alternatively, you can go to the file menu and choose save from that point as well. The second icon, association, allows you to create associated files with the same name as your chapter. So even if you create a chapter on your own using the planner or listing features of the program, you can still keep track of files very easily via the associations within this mode of the program. And you have the option of saving any associate files you make within a workspace. This will make it convenient to come back to and have what you need at your fingertips for this particular chapter, whatever you may use it for. Note, chapter mode can be used for more things than just pinning chapters. That may be confusing for now, but we'll get to that in future f tutorials for function. The next icon on the sidebar is the statistics option. Basically, this menu breaks down details about the current project you're working on in chapter mode. There are notable differences between versions, sessions, and version numbers. Versions refer to individual days that you work on within your binder on a document. The version does not change but once each day. The session number refers to how many times you open and close the story binders program in total and work with the document. If you open the program five times in a single day, the session number updates accordingly. The version number, which is different from versions, refers to how many times you save an in a particular document, so if you save your document 10 times, it will update accordingly in the decimal area. You can also learn statistics about your document for the number of paragraphs, words, file size, and any information about text you select in the document. The next icon on your sidebar, and one I find particularly helpful in pinning my chapters, is the repetition visualizer. This allows you to see how many times you use certain words within a document. You can find how many instances a word is used in your individual chapter file just by clicking on the word. Very useful if you have the tendency to overuse certain words in your projects. The last icon on the left bar is the reader. 
which simply provides you a book-like format to view your chapter text within. You can navigate to the beginning and end using the very end tabs on the bottom. And you can navigate page by page by toggling along the bar with your mouse. It's also possible to advance pages using the inner key as a shortcut here. Now we want to direct your attention to the chapter status bar at the bottom of the chapter mode of the program. This is basically a tool in the mode of the program where you can keep track of how many words you type, set chapter goals by clicking on the bar and adjusting the amount of words, see session details, and otherwise keep track of what you enter within your document. You can toggle what information is displayed in this mode by going to the Preferences menu, choosing View Preferences, and navigating to Chapter Status Bars. You can choose what information you want displayed just by positioning your cursor and clicking on the information you want to display. and it appears like so. That's all for this particular tutorial. Um, just to cover um, what we've reviewed thus far, I covered the different icons on the sidebar of the uh, chapter mode of the program and also the chapter status bar. In the next video I'm going to show you a few more tricks with the chapter mode of the program that you can use to toggle the text and also the different um, status bars that you can work with in the program. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next video.